um, in my readings, I've read uh, three articles that give case studies about uh, schedules of reinforcement. Um, the first of which is talking about children who have uh, emotional or behavioral disorders, and they're in a day treatment classroom setting. In this study, they're trying to basically focus on using schedules of reinforcement to stop students from calling out or from disturbing the teacher by talking. Um, to start off, the teacher would give positive feedback every 20 seconds um, and would ignore all negative behaviors. So they're only giving the positive reinforcement. They were not giving um, the punishment to the students. Uh, Furthermore, they'd only answer questions if the student's hand was raised, therefore encouraging that hand raising. Um, basically, after a certain amount of time, uh, it would be more than 20 seconds that they'd give this positive feedback, so it would go to 40 and it would increase and it would increase. And they found that using this type of schedule, where the time would be constantly increasing, uh, maintained this desired behavior. So they were able to just decrease this verbal disruption by using positive reinforcement. Another study that I looked at was talking about um, using behavior specific praise in high school, um, or middle school actually, so grade 8 they were looking at. Um, in this study they were talking about behavior specific praise, which for them has to be linked to a specific behavior. Uh, has to give the student feedback, sincere feedback on actually what the student is doing. So it's not a general place like, hey, good job. It's more specific, like you really answered that question well, or the metaphor you used there was really on point. So you want to praise the student, but in a way that really reflects what they're doing. Um, through using this method, um, they use a fixed interval schedule. So it was after a certain amount of time, they would give the student a compliment. And this was shown to decrease disruptive behavior. And basically, um, this study shows that this kind of reinforcement can be used with older students, where the first study was talking more about younger students, and using praise after a certain amount of time in order to decrease negative behavior and disruption. When it comes to the idea of choice in reinforcement, the third article was discussing using choice for students with special needs with autism um, in order to reinforce positive behavior. Um, they basically found out in the study that students tend to prefer the choice in their reinforcement and that um, they would complete more tasks uh, if given choice. So therefore, overall choice, giving the student a choice of what reinforcer they want may help increase productivity and increase uh, and lessen disruptive behavior rather than just giving them um, one type of reinforcer. Rather than um, overall, these studies and the readings on reinforcement um, just discuss how it's important to use praise in order to change the behavior of our students rather than punish them because punishment was shown to be more short term and less effective than praise and reinforcement that uh, that was shown to be more long term when used in a schedule um, but over time you need less praise to maintain the same behavior as you would at the beginning so it's not like you always have to be praising every action that the student does over time you can step back and praise less and they will still act in the way that you were hoping for them to when it comes to adaptation and modifying a classroom uh, schedules of reinforcement can be an effective way to help uh, the students with special needs in the classroom but this it can be used with any student so any behavior that Need, wants to be um, targeted can be used in a schedule of reinforcement using praise uh, whenever the desired behavior is done in order to get the student to reproduce that behavior. That's where everyone can actually enjoy themselves while learning. So I think this, this idea of schedule reinforcement when it comes to behaviors is definitely something that can be applied in all classrooms and that should be thought about when students are misbehaving 
and created using Powtoon.